Forger has an amazing tool called Layers, and it's not like you'd expect in Photoshop or Substance Painter. So let's take a look at what Layers means in Forger. So in the model, you have a model with eyes and teeth. So if you go onto your objects, you can see we've got head, turn it on and off. We've got teeth, turn it on and off, and we've got another one there for our eyeballs. And I just want to work on the head. I'm going to select the move tool from here on the on the stack. Don't forget you can move this stack around. It doesn't have to be um, just stuck where it is. You can move it to the top and the bottom. Now I'm left-handed, so I normally keep it over on this, uh, either at the top here, or I can sometimes keep it here on the left. If you're right-handed, you might want to swap this whole interface. So we're on the Move tool, and let's just zoom in with our two pinched fingers, and then we could just check the Move tool's working, which it is, absolutely fine. So we go over to our layers, and in layers, you won't see anything when you initially open it, so you have to add one. So this is our layer one, and now on layer one, you can either have symmetry on or off. If you want to do one eye, turn it off. I'll turn it on for this bit, and we want to do a surprised look. So we're going to push the eyes and basically mush them around so this, this guy looks like he's really, really surprised. And it might bring up his nose a little bit as well, and it might even bring the top up here a little bit, and the bottom will come out. Make sure you don't have it protruding like that. Out and up. Now, if you feel like you've lost any volume, you can obviously, there's plenty more tools you can use. So you can go back in and you can use things like uh, inflate might help or, um, well, there's obviously a wide range of tools that we, we can use. Um, so this one we will use inflate with a reasonable size brush and we'll just, Put some volume back above the eyes if the muscles have creased up as we've as we've opened our eyes up. So let's have a look at what that's done. So there's our character with the surprise look. And then with the layers, if I just slowly iterate it down, you can see that now gives us the ability to pose it up and down. You must be careful because I've gone a little bit too far there. And you can see his eyes don't look like they don't fit. So just be very mindful of the ones underneath um, and make sure that they do, They you know, it, it does actually um, not leave another model popping through. So let's try another layer. So we'll turn that layer off for now because we don't want to do anything with that. And we'll do plus again. We've got layer two. And this time we're going to shut this mouth up. So we'll go back to move. Zoom in, we'll bring the top lip down a little bit, and we'll bring the top lip, sorry, the bottom lip up a little bit. Now we're not going to move the teeth for this one, um, the, the, the teeth should have been um, pr probably closed when I modelled it anyway. So I'm being really careful now, I'm going to bring his jaw forward. Moved it by mistake there, so don't forget you've got your undo. And then, as it gets closer, make sure the teeth aren't protruding out. And we're getting closer to a closed mouth. It looks quite creepy now, doesn't it? it looks, in fact, it looks a much creepier creature now. So once they're quite close together, I like to go back to inflate. And we'll just put the volume back in those lips inside. And then because he's shutting his mouth, I might put a bit of volume back in the cheeks here. And the lip, there you go. So the lips now closed, um, closed up. So what does that look like with the layers? You can see there straight away, it, it, it helps, almost like doing animation. Now these, in different programs, these are called blend shapes or pose morphs uh, or blends or morphs. And what you can do is you can spit these out or export these out um, and they become usable in other programs. Um, so bear that in mind that it could be something that you might want to do um, later down the line. But now you've got the ability to do this one 
and you've got the ability to do this one. So you build those up and you can try different things with your model and really express the character in the model after you've finished the modeling.